Shoo! What's going on folks? Welcome back to another episode. We've got a very special video planned, but for, before today's video gets started, I want to let you guys know that there is a new Ducks Waterfowl merch drop that just dropped and it will be linked down below. I'll pop up a bunch of pictures here. These are all the new items. They are all in stock as of right now, so go click the link down in the description down below to go check them out and you can get 10% off your entire purchase at DucksWaterfowl.com by using promo code FLAIR. So there's a whole bunch of other stuff, a bunch of new stuff that's going on right now and now is the time to get it before it gets sold out but we've got this thing going on let's see Look, i don't think that's gonna make the birds decoy what do you think what is that what do you have fetch it up what do you get you go get them that is exactly, exactly what we're doing today well actually we're not doing it today we're gonna train today and then tomorrow morning we're gonna go hunting so uh my buddy zach you've seen him in some couple videos he kind of helps out around here take care of the place and stuff like that he said he's got a juicy dove spot for us to go hunting at and so i asked him like well, do you care if we bring lucy along and he's like no i don't care bring her so um you know she's about the most underqualified dog there ever was um as of right now isn't that right buddy for hunting because she's not trained I mean, she can, she can, I mean, you guys have seen her. She jumps off a dock. Oh, there she goes. See you later, Rick. She loves water. We're not hunting water for these doves, though. We're going to be in some fields and stuff. So, um, I kind of want to bring her and see what she does. I have not shot a pew around her in probably two months. I got, I started shooting pews when I first got her, when she was probably three months old, I think. Um, but I haven't really shot since then. And I think she, well, she's probably like five or six months. I don't know what her birthday is. Let's call her six months. So she's six months old. She knows about, you know, all she knows is really how to sit. Uh, she'll go chase a bumper in the pond. As you guys have seen, we kind of taught her how to swim last week. Um, which I mean, is all good stuff. But when it comes down to actually hunting, you've got multiple dudes with decoys, guns, big loud sounds and then birds flying it's a lot for just a little pup like that um and so the one thing that i i know is she loves quail absolutely loves the quail you guys see it she's always on quail duty isn't that right lucy 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 are you on quail duty yep you're always on quail duty which a quail and a dove i feel like are fairly similar like not in the aspects of like the nature of them but like the fact of like the size of the bird like they're just little birds basically and she loves them so i would think like a dove she would she would like um but the one thing that we haven't done and i've heard again i'm not an expert and also you're probably going to see some training techniques today and even when we're in the field tomorrow that are a little uh not conventional and so if you guys want to give me tips in the comment section down below i'm more than happy to read them and i, I like i don't really follow like a program for training her i just kind of do what i want to do when i want to do it which i know isn't like the proper way of doing it but it's just kind of like i'm not sending her off to an academy and i'm not working with her every single day but I, I, I try to work with her when I can and kind of make it fun to where her and I kind of build a bond and a relationship with each other to where we can go. You got a stick? You're on stick duty? She likes sticks. So if she thinks it does a stick, she'll be good to go. But anyways, you're going to see some training stuff again. This is nothing like if you guys want to train a puppy, I probably wouldn't recommend watching this and then doing. You can watch it and enjoy it. But like, don't, I'm not a dog trainer. So don't take what I do as the proper way of doing it. Again, I'm just going to kind of do it the way I want to do it. Very casual and just kind of see what she does. She's, she's, I mean, I think she'll be all right. Lucy, you going to be all right? You gonna make it? You gonna have some fun? So we, what we did though, um, one thing I do know about dog training is a, a lot of times people have issues with you, obviously gun shy, so that could be a big factor tomorrow. And then two is feathers in their mouth. A lot of dogs, even like Banjo's dog, doesn't like the feathers that much in her mouth. Like she'll go grab a duck, but doesn't like picking them up and getting all the feathers nasty in their mouth, which I've heard some dogs do, some dogs don't. So what we've got here is a feathered, it looks like, honestly, it looks like a pheasant feather, but it don't really matter. A feathered uh, bumper buoy. Thing. Well, she's used to the, the buoy. It's similar uh, looking, but this kind of has, I mean, it'll give her the feather texture. It actually don't, yeah. I mean, a dog could probably smell it. It probably has some type of scent on it. I mean, it, it looks like real feather. So, I mean, there's going to be a scent factor. There's going to be a texture factor. So we brought her down here and we're going to like, in the simplest way possible, try to replicate uh, going on a dove hunt. Meaning I'm going to sit here as if I'm sitting on like a bucket and throw this out and see what she does. Ooh, what's this? Is this a new, is this a new bumpy? Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. You like that. Well, that's good. I'm glad she likes it. And I'm gonna see if I can get her to sit next to me and throw it out there, hang on to her collar and send her, um, and see if she'll bring it back and start saying stuff like dead bird. And when you say dead bird, like that's something I've, I've heard is like, you say dead bird and that means that their job then is to go look for a dead bird. So we're going to try to work with her a little bit, Lucy, before, before we take, oh God, rip. No, bring it back. Before we go out in the field, we want to, we want to get her used to the feather texture, a little bit of scentage and the strat of sitting next to me um, i didn't bring a gun down here i'm not trying to like actually like shoot and get her uh trained that way like i said tomorrow we're just gonna kind of roll the dice on it today i just want to get her used to wanting to grab this thing and look for something like it so you guys stay tuned all right lucy you ready buddy you want this can you sit right here come here come here come here you come sit come here pal 
Come get it. You just want me to throw it. See, we haven't worked. We haven't worked on the old. Oh God, chill, Rick. Hey, come here. Hey, come. Here. Okay, good girl. Good girl. All right. All right. Stop. No. Sit. You sit. Sit right there. Sit down. No. Oh, we almost had it. Come here. You want this? You want this? You want this? Come here. Right here. You she just wants me to throw it. See, that's why we're training. We got to get her used to sit next to me and being chill. Hey, you want this? Come here. Come here. Okay, sit, sit, sit. Good girl. Sit. Good girl. Okay, yeah. All right. You ready? Stay. Stay. Dead bird. Go get it. Good girl. Bring it back, Lucy. Come here. Oh, rip, she took the feather. Come here, Lucy. Yo, rip. Come here. Come on. Bring it back. Dead bird. Bring it back. No, come back. Hey, where are you doing, Rick? Hey, come here. Well, she likes the feathers. Lucy, bring it back. Bring it back. Come on. Come here, Lucy. Lucy. She, now she thinks she killed something and she needs to eat it. No, bring me. No, quit. No, quit crunching the feathers. Hey, you let go. Let go. Let go. <laughs> let go. All right, well, this thing didn't freaking work that great. Good girl. I mean, she 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 wasn't that antsy when I was holding on to her to wait because I haven't really worked with her on like a sit wait deal so that wasn't terrible but I mean she likes feathers it's pretty clear that she liked the feather strat so I don't I don't see there being a huge issue I thought I had her tightened down okay all right yeah these are like literally actual wings like you can see you excited Lucy come here you want the feather come here all right I guess not I don't know how she even got these off you being patient Lucy come here Lucy try again you sit come here come here no come here What's this? What's this? Good girl. All right, sit, sit, sit down. Yeah, you can sit. No, you can be in front of me. Good girl. Sit, sit. If you sit, I will throw your toy. Good girl. All right, stay, stay, stay. Dead bird. Good girl. Bring it back, Lucy. Come on, Lucy. Bring it back. Bring it back. Right here. Come here. Woohoo! Come here. Oh, so close. Come here, Lucy. Bring it back. You come back here right now. Come here, Lucy. No, you bring that bird back. Where are you going? Why? Come here, Lucy. Good girl, Lucy. Well, she's excited. She she's way more excited about the feathered one than than the normal one. Lucy, bring it back. Come, come here, Lucy. Get the bird, dead bird. Come here, come here, Lucy. Come, come here. Good girl, come here. Oh, you're so close. Come here, Rick. Hey, no, don't, no, don't, no. It's not a game. Good girl, good girl. You want to play again? You're doing good, buddy. All right, come here. You gotta sit. You gotta sit. Okay. She was good at sitting. She don't like sitting today, I guess. You ready? No. Oh, no, come here. You gotta sit next to me. Come on. You sit down. Good girl. No. No, that doesn't mean get up. Ready? Stay. Stay. Dead bird. Bring it back. Come on, Lucy. Come here, come here. Come here. Where are you? Did I not tell you she's the best duck hunting dog? Dove hunting dog, well-trained dog out there in the earth, on the earth, on planet earth. Lucy, come here. Lucy, come here. She always brings the bumper back, but it's the feather strat. She just, she goes on X game mode, you know? Do you think if we threw that in the water, she would act different, like a duck? Might be worth a shot. Cause right, she thinks it's, it's like a treat or like a toy or bone. Like with her bumper, she's always bringing it back. So I think this fe the feather thing's throwing her off. I'm gonna try throwing it in the water and see what she does. Come on. All right, sit. Sit. Nah. Oh, why would you do that? She's thirsty. Give her a second. All right, you ready? I don't know if this thing's made for water, but we're going for it. Stay. Denver. Good girl. Come here, Lucy. Good girl. Come here. Lucy, come. Come here. No, come here. Red. Well, I don't know where you're going. Come here. You come right here. She's killing it right now. The feathers are throwing her off, but she's not afraid. If she can go, the thing is, tomorrow when we go out, if, if she can run through the forest and the bushes and stuff and find a bird and pick it up, I will consider that a success. Bringing it back to me and sitting and all, I mean, that can all be worked on. I just want her to use her sniffer to find a bird and pick it up. That's the idea. I mean, obviously you want a dog to be able to go out and retrieve and bring back, which I think she'll get. She's just on X game mode right now. I don't know what her strat is, but when you're looking for a duck or a dove or a pheasant and some thick bushy stuff, you need something with a big sniffer to find it. Come here, Lucy. Good girl. Bring it back. No, bring it here. No. Sit. Did Millie teach you not to sit? Look at she's doing the same thing Millie does, where she backs up. Who who trained my? She loves sitting. What are you doing? Can you sit? Hey. 
No, don't. Why would she eat that? No. <laughs> okay, well, you like that. No. Lucy. Oh, my God. Dude, she... I think Mil Millie had to have rubbed off on her. This is Millie. Like, tw tweaking over bugs? She's never tweaked over a bug in her life. And then when I tell her to sit, she backs up. That is so strange. I've never seen Lucy be like this. It's like she took a bite of these feathers and all of a sudden she's just a naughty dog. I don't know. Can you sit? Good girl. Good enough. Go get it, dead bird. <laughs> I mean, hey, if she wants to lay down while we're hunting, hey, that's even better. Come here, Lucy. Good girl, come here. Good girl. Come here. No, where are you going? Hey, you come back here. Hey, you come and she's gone. Like I said, we've got some work to do. She's a little pup. If you guys have any tips on how to make her come back to me, uh, I'm assuming like if she came back to me, give her a treat. The only time I've, I've done that though, and every time I give her a treat, she just like, then just wants to sit. Like she doesn't, she doesn't figure out bringing that back to me in straight. But like, let me know. If you have a solution, what's going on? She's doing well. She's grabbing stuff. She's just not bringing it back to me. Since we've given her a normal dummy, she's fine. She usually brings it back. This feathered guy, she, she she just she wants to go t kill it somewhere and bury it and i don't know what she wants to do with it but if you guys have any solutions and tips let me know tomorrow's game plan get up early in the morning go out do a little dove hunt and see if she can at least just relax i mean right now she seems pretty wound up i'm hoping she's a little bit calmer at 6 a.m um sit next to me not be scared of the gunfire and find a dead dove if we can get her in the area i don't expect her to like see the dove fall and then go get it but if I can get her in the area, if I can get her to pick it up and bring it to me, that's a dub in my book. You guys stay tuned. Shoo! What's going on, folks? I don't know if you can see anything, but uh, it's dark out here. Nah, yeah, I can probably see a little bit. But we made it to the spot. We are going to be doing a little bit of hunting today, but we got a special guest. Where are you at? Hey, buddy. What are you doing? Are you excited? You don't even know what day, we don't even know what day of the week it is. You have no idea what's going on right now. You ready to go hunting? She's actually more excited than I expected. She, she's, she doesn't she's know. Ready to go, yeah. She has no clue what's going on. She's never been hunting before. Huh. You've never been anywhere besides like the farm in my house, really. Like you've never, you actually now I think about it, you really haven't been anywhere else. <laughs> but we are doing a little bit of hunting with this guy, huh? We, we train a little bit, I think you're ready. She's definitely not ready. I was telling Tiles on the way, I was like, she might be the least qualified dog to ever go hunting ever and i'm gonna try to document it on youtube like she has i mean about as minimal training as a dog could receive i mean she she knows how to re retrieve like one of those little bumpers when we throw like you guys have seen her she can swim um but she's never actually had any real infield experience um i also realized i hadn't really shot a gun around her for like three months so i'm really having my fingers crossed here because i know some dogs can be gun shy which wouldn't be good lucy don't be scared of the pew all right the pew is your friend um, but we are going dove hunting and we're with Zach and some of his buddies and we're gonna try to shoot a couple doves And my goal today is not to shoot. I mean we can shoot a limit I'm not against shooting a limit, but for me personally, it's about her It's about you you having a good time and maybe you finding a couple birds that maybe we couldn't find using that big old sniffer of yours You know what I'm saying? That's the whole goal with the old pup Is she gonna be able to go out there retrieve it and bring it back? Probably not. What's she eat some kettle corn? What's going on here? She might have been eating that. No, don't eat the kettle corn. No. <laughs> big big popcorn. I don't. Guy or what? I mean, I got hungry. You never know. Did you? Yeah. You know, post post dove hunting snack. Kettle corn is where it's at. Um. But my goal with Lucy is to. Be, I'm gonna basically you know sit on a bucket kind of like you normally do. Uh. I mean I'll definitely take a few shots, but I'm gonna let Zach and his friends take most of them and kind of hang on to Lucy. Kind of teach her. Hey. You gotta sit, you gotta stay. Once everybody's done shooting, then you can go look for birds. And then I'll try to keep an eye out as well, as well as everybody else to, to see where the birds land and kind of lead her to it and see what she does. Will she pick it up? And if she does, cool, we'll see if I can convince her to bring it back. It's kind of like a, an infield live training session. You like that? <laughs> Why do you look so sad? All right, buddy, it's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. You can sleep. You can sleep when we get home. She was pretty tired this morning. I woke her up. She literally didn't want to get out of her kennel. I had to pick her up and set her in the truck, and then she slept the entire drive here. So, anyways, we've got a little bit of time. Time check is 5:50. We've got like 35 minutes before we can shoot, so we want to make sure we got here early enough. We don't miss the first flight of dove. Lucy, this is your first hunt. How does that make you feel? You excited? You ready to get some dove? You guys, stay tuned. You excited, buddy? You excited? Well, we made it to the spot, folks. Lucy was doing pretty good. She was, uh, I got this random rope tied on her that way I don't lose her. Lucy, you excited, buddy? What do you think? You ready to chase some doves? You're excited. She's never done anything like this before. We're, we're basically just throwing her right in. We're just, instead of getting your, your toes wet, getting your feet wet, she's doing a freaking cannonball. So, I think she's gonna do good. I think this is my plan. Keep her like this. She can sit next to me. When one goes down, I'll take her 
her leash off, send her, go guide her towards it. Just kind of get her familiar with the strat here. She was a little bit nervous when we got out of the truck, but once we started kind of walking around, she calmed down a little bit. So we're gonna get a couple spinners out. We've got, I think, four or five spinners. So these help a lot with, I mean, they actually help with waterfowl hunting a lot too, but dove hunting especially. And uh, we're just in a little little open field. We're gonna kind of spread out. There's, there's five of us and, well, six including you. See, this is kind of what they're gonna look like. See, the fact that she's getting sad about this, that's a good thing. You ready to go get a dove? It's gonna be your first retrieve ever. Are you excited? So these things though, basically sit like this on a post. I know this isn't like new information for most of you, but I figured I'd show you guys. And it looks like that. And that brings them in every time. So we're gonna go ahead and get these guys set up, get loaded up, and hopefully the birds start flying here soon. We've got like a little less than 20 minutes before we can start pulling the trigger and Lucy can start retrieving. You guys stay tuned. Well, folks, we're in position here. Lucy. Lucy's gonna sit in between pool jet and I. The one thing that Lucy's good at is sitting, which is good because it's a big part of hunting. You gotta sit, you gotta be still, you gotta be quiet. She's pretty good at all that. So we're gonna sit here. There's a guy there, there, and there. We've kind of got like almost a circle, but we're not shooting at each other. Um, we're kind of spread out through this little area here. We've got all this kind of prairie grass in front of us, which would be good for her because she should be able to find the birds pretty easy. It's not gonna be too thick. But if one of these boys loses a dove thick into the bushes, then that's when we're gonna send Lucy in there. But I don't know, so far she's doing way better than I thought. Like I thought she'd be whining, she'd be confused. She would wanna go sit back in the truck and so far she's hanging out. Lucy, ready to get your first bird? You excited? Are you so excited? <laughs> hey, you gotta be quiet. You can't let the doves know we're here. Shh, right here. Got him. No, I know. It's all right. Hey, are you, is that scary? Is that scary? Hey, how about we get the bird? What's that? What's that? <laughs> Lucy, make that nose work. She knows blind. Lucy, you walked over it twice. Lucy, get the bird. <laughs> this is about what I expected. <laughs> What's this? Go get the bird. Get the bird. Yes. What's that bird? Pick up the bird up. Come on. Touch it up. <laughs> What's this? What's that? Get the bird. Get the bird. Yeah, get it. Get it. Grab the bird. Come on. Come on. Grab it. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Really? <laughs> Just grab it. Why? <laughs> Look at her, she's got fuzz on her nose. Here you go. She doesn't like the feathers in her mouth. That's pretty common with, with dogs. The feathers take a little bit getting used to. Well, you didn't find it, nor did you pick it up. <laughs> but we'll go, we'll go back up and see if we can get another one. She has, she doesn't, she could care less about this thing. It looks like a quail, you love quail. It's, I don't think it's the feathers. We gotta get her used to the feathers in the mouth, all right. Well, folks, hadn't seen anything else. It's been, been kind of slow out here. We got, hey, why? Why'd you, why would you do this? I don't understand this duck. She never jumps on me. You pissed? You wanna go chase another duck? Dove, whatever, what are we hunting today? You wanna go chase another dove? Hey, can you get down? Get down. Come here, why don't you sit? So what we're gonna do, since this is Lucy's first time hunting, is uh, I wanna get her a little bit more experience than what we've given her so far. So far, we've got one. She didn't find it worth a crap. She's sleepy. She's yawning right now. She's she's kind of out of it. So I want to kind of get her pet back up. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take the dove that we currently have. And I'm going to have Ty throw it. And I'm going to shoot. I'm not going to hit it. Um, but just shoot and have her kind of watch and see if she can see it fall and see what she does. See if I can get her pumped up enough to go right to it. I'm trying to kind of work with her a little bit. I know this is like pretty unconventional training. I mean, she's not really trained for this at all. Uh, but she's doing pretty good. I mean, she sat next to us most of the morning. She's not gun shy. She just hasn't picked up the objective. The objective is to find these birds. She hasn't picked that up yet. She just thinks she's out here hanging out, which is fine. As long as she's not gun shy and as long as she's happy and excited about it, that's all that matters. She's just a young pup. She's only five months old. So we still have a long road ahead of us to get her to where she'll go pick up a bird. We're gonna try working on a little training real quick since we do have a dove in our hand and uh, nothing's flying right now. So we'll see how she does. Okay, get the bird. Come on. Come on. She's not a dove hunter, I'll tell you that much. She got excited. You don't want the bird? Get the bird. Get the bird. What's he doing? What's he doing? Get the bird. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. 
There you go. Come on, get her. Nice shot. Rep. Can you sit? Sit. Sit. There you go. She doesn't like <laughs> Dove. Do you think she'll like Doc? <laughs> Lizzie. You love quail. He's basically a quail. You see him? Tweet, tweet. You don't like him? Well, we've got a lot of work to do. She didn't, she, I don't think she, she even saw where it went down. I don't even think she was watching. I guess we still have one, so we'll go sit back down and hope another one comes in. Well, the camera was off. We were actually just about to move spots, and uh, we had a couple of them come in and got one down. This one actually got in the thick stuff, so we'll see if Lucy's nose works. Lucy! Lucy! Hey, come here. What's this? What's that guy doing? What's that? Let's get, get the bird. Yeah, you didn't find nothing, did you? You want him? You want him? No? Rip. Well, folks, we moved spots and we found a whole bunch. Oh, there's one right there. We found where all the birds are. They're loaded up in here, so we're gonna sit down and hopefully get a few to come in close. This is what we've come to right here. This is this is Lucy's she's, dove hunting she's, pose. She's a good hunting dog. Look at this I dog. I like this. Yeah. She, she don't like me because I make her just sit next to me and be quiet and behave. And this is what and, she does and, pull, and she goes over to pool and says, hey, he'll hold me like a little baby. So that's what pool doing while we're sitting here dove hunting. Holding her like a freaking child. She's so dramatic. She, it's not even, she's not even gun shy. She's literally just sleepy and wants somebody to cuddle with. You are the biggest baby ever. I'm really hoping we get some more doves to come in and I want to like not wound one as if it gets hit and then lives, but wing it to where it can't fly great, but it's still alive. Because I know she's going to be more intrigued with it than a dead one. She doesn't really like the dead one. She doesn't, she doesn't have much interest in it. But if something's are flapping, the way she acts around these quail, I feel like she would, she would like it a little better. Either that or she's just going to take a nap with pool jet for the day. Lucy. Well, I just shot one. No, I shot that guy. I don't know where he came from, though. He was literally just right here, and I threw my gun up and shot him. Well, I just shot one. We keep getting the shots off camera. They come in so darn quick, we weren't ready. But let's go see if Lucy can find this one. Mm -hmm. That's right here. It's still alive. Dead bird. Lucy. Dead bird. What's he doing? Real. Go get it. Go get it. What's he doing? Really? I even wounded one and she still don't want it. Well, we got another one. He's just wounded. Lucy. She ain't a dove hunting dog, I don't think. Sit. She don't like this thing. Maybe she's a big duck dog. I mean, luckily I don't dove hunt enough to like care. Maybe she like duck. She don't like this guy. Anyways, that's number two for me, three for the group. At least we got lunch. All right. Well, I think we just had to get her excited about this and she's she's bringing it back now. You want the bird? Get the bird. Ready? 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 Go get the bird. Go get it. Bring it back. Come on. Bring it back, Lucy. <laughs> Look at that. Lucy, come here, girl. What's he doing? Ready? Go get it. I know some of you guys might be thinking it's cruel to use your, you know, your dead animals as, uh, as training, but that's the only way she's going to get it. Lucy, bring it back. Come on. Bring it back. Come on. Good girl. Where, where are you going? Bring the bird. Good girl. Sit. Go get the bird. Good girl. Bring it back. Good girl. All right, well, she got the hang of it. We just had to use it as a tool. Oh, you like the bird? See, I feel like you just had to get her excited about it. What's that? One more. Go get it. Come on, bring it back. Good dog. No, come here. <laughs> Quit trying to run with it. All right, well, we're gonna go back and see if we can get another one, but hey, at least we're getting her to bring it back. I'm hoping we can get one more to test it to see if she'll find it now that she knows that this is something good, something like a toy. She's gotta get used to it, but so far, so good. Lucy, shh, Lucy. No, shh, Lucy, no. Lucy, no, freaking cows wandered in front of us and Lucy is losing, no, shh, we're hot. this is the best hunting dog money can buy, I say we, I say we breed her and sell her puppies for like 10 G's because she's such a good hunting dog, Lucy, we are dove hunting, you cannot be barking at cow. hey, we're gonna have to go, we might have to move spots because these cows aren't going nowhere, okay, Lucy, dead bird, come on. We missed another shot. Pool's just killing on camera duty. I'm well, just kidding. They, they come in, in in like a half a second. We couldn't see that anyway. Zach shot that one. Well, let's see if Lucy, now that she's wound up on this dove. I just stepped in cow poop. No, quit barking at every... They have been here the whole time. No, they've been here the whole time. Come on, stretch it up, right here. Stretch it up. What's that? Dead bird. Lucy, Lucy, come. Oh my God. Lucy, Lucy. Come on. What's that? Oh, good girl. Get the bird. Dead bird. Bring it back. Come on, Lucy. Come on. Oh, look at that. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, that's your first. We'll call that a retrieve. I mean, she found it, picked up, and brought it to me. Hey, that's a retrieve in my book. Yeah, that's a good girl. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Yeah, you got another one? 
Yeah? You like playing with these? All right, go take it to Zach. Get the bird. Get the bird. Come on. All right, let's go. Come on. You okay? Oh, oh. you're close. Give him all. Oh, give him oh. the bird. Get the bird. Fetch it up. There's not gonna be any meat left. Let's get this up. Hey. 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 Give me that bird. Give me that bird. Lucy, you killed the game, buddy. Good shot. <laughs> Thanks. I didn't even see it. Yeah, that's I when shot, I shot that yeah, one. Yeah. The sun was my ass too. It's just like. They come in so darn quick. Well, that's not oh, bad. Man. That's four. Not bad. Lucy, you're getting it figured out, pal. Slowly but surely, she's getting it figured out. Really? Well, pull, camera guy pulled it. That's another one. <laughs> I'm just teasing. We got we're, we got two groups of hunters. Oh God, she about to find it? Lucy, come here, Lucy. But they shot another one, so we're gonna see if Lucy can find it. Lucy. <laughs> hey, dead bird. Come here, Lucy. Come here. Oh, oh, good girl, bring it here. Yeah, bring You can take it to them, that's fine. Good girl. That's a good girl. Good shot, boys. Shoo. We got work to do, but at least you're picking it up now. That was, when she wouldn't pick up a dead bird, I thought we were gonna have to return you. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, well, see if we can get a couple more. Lucy, dead bird. Lucy, dead bird, come. Come on, fetch it up. Fetch it up, Lucy. Oh, good girl, bring it back. Good girl, come here. Come here, Lucy. No, go here. Hey, come on. Bring it here. Bring it here. Good girl. Oh, yeah. Finally, well, we got one to drop right in front of us. Good girl. You like that guy? You like him? Was that good? And so she finally was able to, I don't know if she actually saw it drop, but we were able to kind of walk down and she pretty much went right to and picked it up. Good girl. We're getting some good practice for you. Oh, that's number six, boys. We've got good lunch now. Yeah, we got good lunch. We got good lunch. All right, let's go. Oh, there's one right here. Oh, they're out in front. He's a letting her eat. Yeah. You get any? You got one. Nice. Let's go find it. Lucy, you want a drink? Come here, buddy. Let's get a drink. No. There, there you go. go. All right. Yeah. All right. That's not exactly what I meant, but now get mm. a drink. Lucy. No. Now we got a soggy dog. Go. Oh my gosh. Mom's going to kill you. Hey, get a drink. The, the creek looks pretty clean until you walk through it. Oh <laughs> my God. Why? Why did I bring her to the creek? Lucy. <coughs> Lucy. Oh my god. I got a chocolate lab now. I've always wanted a chocolate lab. Dead bird. Dead bird. Get the bird. Good girl. Bring it here. Good girl. Bring her. Push up. Oh, that's a good dog. Look at that. Lucy, you're getting better. Go get it. Bring it back. Dead bird. Fetch it up. Come on. Fetch it up. Come on. Lucy, bring it back. Come. Lucy, come. Come, hey, come here. Hey, come here. You're getting better. I know. Hey, come here. Bring it back. Oh, good girl. You you bit the butt off that guy. Hey, you gotta leave some meat for us. We should give her a little bit when we cook it up. I wish she gets a little taste of it, you know what I'm saying? Hey, well, the boys, they got another one. I think I make six in total. It's getting kind of late though. It's already like 11. We've been out here for a while. So we're gonna call it at that and go home and put these guys up for lunch. I think Lucy's excited. We're gonna treat her to a delicious lunch for all of her hard work. Even though I basically had to find all of them and then she she found them after I found them, but she's getting better. For a first timer, she's not too bad. See you guys at the house. Shoo! Look at that folks. Well, we made it back home. We did a little marination, okay? I know I kind of skipped a step, but I'll walk you guys through it. So right here, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Those are the three doves that I shot. Um, and we are gonna, like I said, what, what video was this? Was this? It was the duck video, I think. The duck video, the first teal opener video. I said, we're gonna start simple and all we do is wrap and bake. And from then on out, we are going to try to step up our game. It doesn't mean we're gonna be making like 10 course meals or anything like that, but we're not gonna sit here and just bake and wrap this. So most people do, most people take this, they wrap it in bacon or they do like a jalapeno popper or something like that. Um, so what we're doing is we are doing a stir fry, an Asian stir fry, instead of like a beef or a chicken, it's going to be with dove, which I've never done before. I've done something like this with duck before, but never with dove. So what we had in this, I don't know if I'd call it a marinade, it's something that sat in it for a little bit. Um, we've got some premium fish sauce and some pure sesame oil, some soy sauce and rice vinegar. So we literally threw a bunch in there. It's been sitting for like 30, 40 minutes now, kind of letting it soak up a little bit. And then we've got this, these are the veggies. So we're gonna get these guys steamed up. Um, once they're about halfway done getting steamed and cooked, I'm gonna start cooking these in a separate pan, making sure the meat gets done. And then I'm gonna add them together and then I'm gonna make a sauce with the rest of these ingredients. Put it all together and we're gonna have some dove stir fry. You guys stay tuned. All right, in go some veggies. I'm not gonna go crazy with it. We don't have a ton of, ton of meat. Unfortunately, wish we would've killed some more, but hey, 
It was good. Again, the, the idea was uh, we wanted to make sure that Lucy had a good time. Which I think she did. What's this right here? Pick up here. You gotta be smarter than the broccoli package. I don't think I am. Ah, a little bit. You like broccoli, Bull Jack? Oh, yeah. That should, that should be enough. I mean, you're gonna have six little, little nugs in there. Throw a little bit of water. Nothing too crazy. In there, I've got it on medium heat. Cover it up, and they're frozen, so it's gonna take a little bit of time. Um, and while these guys are starting to steam up, we're gonna get ready with the sauce. All right, here we go, folks. We're gonna make some sauce for you. This is very unconventional. I'm sure there's recipes out there. Starting with soy sauce, this is gonna be the majority of your sauce. Now, we don't have any teriyaki sauce here uh, today, so otherwise I would probably would throw some of that in there. A little rice vinegar, so that was soy sauce. Rice vinegar, oh God, rip, that might be too much. Then we've got pure sesame oil. This is basically, we're making the same concoction that we did with the marinade, um, but this is actually going to be more of it to where it's going to go on to the vegetables so throw a little bit of that in there then we've got some fish sauce that looks about right and then we've got some honey something to sweeten it up just a little bit so give that a one of them guys and then sesame seeds you can't have uh stir fry without sesame seeds so just like that all right give that a whisk and this is just going to go on top of the veggies again it's not a lot but it's going to give it some good flavor that soy sauce is really going to make it flavorful just like that. We're gonna call that good. Now, this meat needs to go in a pan. So I just turn the skillet on high. These guys aren't gonna take very long to cook, so I cook it at high temp. Uh, kind of like a medium. You don't really need a medium rare in this case, but a nice medium would be nice. So go ahead and throw these guys in there. and then skillet. Once these guys are cooked, you're gonna throw them in with the vegetables and then put your sauce in, mix it together. And then maybe leave it on like low, medium, low for five minutes. Just kind of let it all combine together and serve it up. <laughs> they didn't really do much. There you go, that's a good one. Oh yeah. All right, open up the old steamy pot. Go ahead and throw those guys in. Oh, god dang it, there we go. Okay, set this over here. They're all together now. It's a lot of veggies, a little meat, but it's because we only shot three. I'm gonna grab some sauce. Get that sauce in there, ooh yeah. Like I said, kind of mix this together. All the uh, the meats and the veggies will absorb some of that. And um, I've got it on low right now. So nothing's really gonna cook that much. Just take this lid, throw it on there, and let the juices soak up, and we'll be good to go. This is my first time ever eating Dove Stir Fry, so I'm pretty excited. Oh yeah. Banjo's missing out. This is, this is about to be freaking spectacular. And if you want it to be thicker, basically suggested making a slurry. Just corn, starch, and water. I was too lazy. So you're just gonna get a lot of juices, not a lot of sauce or something but it's still gonna taste pretty good so we're gonna go ahead and plate this guy up everything looks good probably should put this in a bowl we got a lot of sauce oh yeah look at that you go to the best chinese restaurant in town i'll put this up against that any day this looks fire all right here we go folks i'm gonna get a little piece of melee you cannot do that just calm down we got a little pepper action i think with a little bit of dove give me a little give me a nugget of broccoli here Oh yeah, that's hot. Steamy boy. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. You wouldn't even know that's tough. If I got that at the restaurant, I think that's that's some beef. I'm gonna throw I'm gonna go just dove plain dove with a little bit of that sauce. Oh get that pepper out there. Mmm. It was good. After marinating for a little bit, I mean, you can marinate for longer, 24 hours if you want, but it really, the flavor sticks to it. It's not just the outside sauce, it's the actual meat itself that tastes really good. This is, this might be up there. The thing is like, would I rather wrap it in bacon with like a jalapeno popper and cream cheese? Probably, but with as much hunting as we do, especially with duck season, you know, coming up being in full swing, you know, you eventually are gonna get tired of that. So this is a good alternative, totally different. Um, again, you don't get like that really gamey taste. I mean, you don't really get it out of, out of Dove anyways, but adding all these flavors and the seasoning and stuff like that really masks the flavor. So even if you did duck, you wouldn't really know that it was duck. So if you guys have a lot of meat at, at home from wild game and stuff, and you want to figure out how to, way to get rid of it and feed it to your family, I would highly suggest this. I think it's pretty good. Mm. Oh yeah. You wouldn't even know. You excited? You want to try it? Oh yeah. You big stir fry guy or no? Couldn't tell you the last time I've had it. Really? When was the last time you had it? Couldn't tell you. <laughs> I mean, within the last year, probably. You've been in the last year or no? Oh, probably. Oh, okay. Probably somewhere in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. okay. Yeah. Give her, give her, are you going straight, I'm just, gonna just meat? Yeah. Just straight meat to the mouth, huh? Oh, yeah. Really? How's that? That's pretty good. 
Is that good? Oh yeah. Would you be able to tell that, like if you ate that, would you be like, that's definitely not beef? Or is there just like a hint of not beef? Or would you like that? It's probably I'd probably beef. think it's some type of beef, yeah. Yeah, yeah if no one said anything. No. You were just kind of like, oh, that's, that's mm, beef. Yeah. That's not bad. No. All right, what's, what's your favorite veggies here? You like the big broccoli oh, guy? Oh, broccoli, oh yeah. Oh yeah. You ever had like uh, broccoli and like cheese? Oh on God, it? yeah. That's the, that, that's stuff, the strat, yeah. oh yeah. Right. Some good broccoli. <laughs> you like the old steamed broccoli? Oh yeah, give it a try. Really? Oh, yeah. I guess I didn't eat broccoli on its own. I don't go broccoli. Yeah. I, broccoli yeah. I would say, like I said, it's it's a way to cook the meat where it tastes totally different than the traditional way of cooking dove or a duck, being that they're, you know, relatively similar. Um, and you could probably rip, I mean, we only had, what, three doves here and there's like hardly any meat. I could probably, if it was served like this, I could probably eat like five or six personally, like in a meal to where like, this would be a way to like get rid of a lot of meat. You know, you oh, got yeah. a bunch of meat in the freezer mm -hmm. from ducks, geese, whatever. You make this for your family, you're repping through dozens of birds at that point. So I feel like this is a good way to get rid of it. So after you've had the bacon, cream cheese, pepper, dove, that's one thing. That was the first catch and cook with the dove. This is the second. Which one would you prefer? The popper. Yeah, yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. The pot, the with bacon and just- It's, it's the, the it, bacon. It's, the, it the tastes delicious, about. but I would, I personally would get tired of it at some point. Oh, yeah. After a few meals, mm -hmm. this would be a really good switch up. So, so far of our catch and cook adventures being dove and duck since they're similar, we've done bacon wrap, we've done jalapeno bacon, cream cheese poppers, and we've done stir fry. I would say if it was me, I would do poppers, then stir fry, then just bacon wrap. The bacon wrap's good, but not that it's bland, but it's the same flavor. This has a multitude of flavors, colorful, good plating points. It, it's good, I like good it. sauce, you man. You like that sauce? Oh yeah. It's a pretty complicated sauce. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Oh wait, we gotta give Lucy. Lucy, you gotta taste. She's passed out. Lucy, you gotta taste your own teal. Or nap. dove, why do I keep saying this is teal? We didn't go duck hunting. Hey, Lucy. You want some dove, buddy? Nelly, you can have some dove too. You want some dove? You want a Scooby snack? All right, well, let's, you got, grab uh, grab two. We'll, we'll give one each to Millie and Lucy. Finn, you gotta stay here, buddy. We'll get, we'll, now we don't have, oh, what are you doing? I will get you one when we come back, all right? No, Millie, come back outside. Come on, buddy. Hey, outside, come on. Come on. You, you want a snack? All those doves that you retrieved today, Lucy. We got, we got a little treat for you. All right, let me see what I got here. You sit. Oh, now you sit. Well, Yesterday, she wouldn't sit where the crap. Finn, no, get down, get down. <laughs> sit, sit, good girl. Oh God, rip, wow. rip to these fingers. You did, she didn't even taste it. It went straight down the throat. Millie. Millie. Finn, no, Finn. Come I here, Millie. You want a treat? So. You want a treat? Come get a treat, Millie. All right, Millie. No, Millie, sit, sit. Do you want it or do you not want it? You don't like Asian food? Dude, I don't know if she likes it. Oh no, she picked it back up. Melee, not a fan of the Asian cuisine? She's still she's still throwing it around in her mouth. Her mouth is salivating like crazy. Hopefully nothing that we put in there is, makes them allergic. Good job. Finn, we'll go get you one inside. Anyways, Lucy, I don't think you even tasted it, but it seems like she's, she, she's, Lucy, you want another one? Can you sit? You sit. Barely. She, what's the strat? She's like, don't, she used to want to sit all the time. Now she don't really want to sit. I don't really know what the deal is. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Remember, all the new Ducks products are now available. They will be linked down below if you guys want to go check them out. And use promo code FLAIR to get 10% off your entire purchase. We've got duck calls, goose calls, and a whole bunch of other products that just came out. So go get it while you can before it runs out. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much. And peace.